right, let's go do this. All right, YouTube, Mike XXL here, your redneck from in Missouri. We're going to do a fat person review of this 2018 Toyota RAV4 Adventure. And it will be an adventure. <laughs> All right, peace out. All right, well, we're inside the car. We're in the RAV4. You know, and when I got in this car, I was pleasantly surprised by the spread in this little car, you know. So, uh, this is a Toyota. It's a 2018, like I said, it's a RAV4 Adventure model. And uh, I love Toyotas, right? Um, this particular car, I happen to know about how much it costs to buy it because I helped my niece buy this car at the dealer. Um, trying to negotiate a good deal for kind of thing. I think she paid around 29000 for this car. I think the uh, sticker price was thirty one, something like that. Um, this car comes with a 2.5 liter four cylinder and it's got a six speed you know transmission in it so um, it's, a, it's a great smooth shifting transmission. The one thing it does is when you're out on the interstate and you got a full load in here it does shift several times I've noticed when I've been in it um, but other than that you know it it does really good in the city um, it gets around 23 and a half miles to the gallon it's a uh, nice and smooth and like I said it's a Toyota so it's got good resale um, the brakes are adequate it's got four-wheel disc brakes Toyota is one of those companies that even up until a few years ago they were still putting drum brakes on the back of some cars so uh, keep that in mind when you're looking for a used vehicle um, if it's a Toyota or even if it's a newer one make sure that it does not have drum brakes on the back I mean drum brakes are good in certain applications but in today's world I mean seriously disc brakes people so um, road noise you know, it's a more of an economy SUV. It's a small entry-level SUV, so it doesn't have quite all the sound deadening insulation and all that that adds a lot of weight to a vehicle. It's more concerned about good, getting good miles per gallon. So you will have a little uh, road noise, but the tires they put on here from the factory are good. You know, you don't get a lot of noise from the tires. Um, it's got really good seals on it, so out on the highway you're not getting a lot of wind inside the vehicle, which is great. Um, it doesn't have it doesn't have any blind spots um, as far as the front but when you look in the rearview mirror you're gonna see that the visibility out the back glass is inhibited by headrests and the back glass of this vehicle is small so looking out the back window is a little bit problematic but the side mirrors are nice and big and that compensates for that so just keep that in mind I think it's a styling thing that they put that small back glass on the back of this thing um, the steering wheel position on a full spread is comfortable um, the steering wheel I'm in a nice comfortable position and the seat can actually go back farther than I have it right now but I have a good six inches between me and the steering wheel and my belly. So, fat person, it's good to go. Um, headroom, I've got a good six inches of a headroom above my hat. So, I'm 6'1, six, 6'2, six, so I'm guessing someone 6'8 could sit in this thing before they would hit their head. But keep in mind, I got the, the moonroof open too. So, let's close the moonroof. Yeah, when you close the moonroof, you've only got about four inches. So the most um, road trip what's the maximum amount of hours that you can take this vehicle on a road trip and be comfortable in it um, I'm guessing it's a good eight-hour vehicle just because it's a Toyota and it's comfortable like my wife's CRV you know I'm guessing it's about a six hour just because the seats don't have quite as much insulation and you get a lot of engine noise in this vehicle the engines not quite as noisy as a CRV goes and um, 
I forgot to talk about the leg room, but I got plenty of leg room and my seat can go back several inches. So, well, we're going to pull over and stop. We'll fly the drone around a little bit and do some measurements of the opening and the seat height and all that stuff. And uh, then we'll do a review of the inside. So, all right, I'll be right back with you. It's dance time. Okay, let's measure this bad boy and see uh, see what it's like. The seat uh, or the door doesn't open quite as wide as I hope. All right, let's measure the widest point across here, or the narrowest point, I should say, 32 inches. 32. All right. This is the sill opening from the sill to the center of this where you would have to stoop under. That's a respectable 42. All right, so here's the key measurement right here. The seat bottom to the ground. I gotta get down for this. 27 and three quarters. So a little bit taller than the RAV4 or the CRV. 27 and 3 quarters. All right. Let's measure the seat bottom width right in the center of the seat. Overall, it's 19 and a quarter. All right. And then we'll measure between the bolsters of the seat. It's 12. Seat back width is 20 and a half. And the seat bottom to the headliner, let's try that. And I got the sunroof closed, or the moonroof, I should say. It is 36 and a half. Okay. 36.5. That's not bad. I'm also going to measure the seat length. The where you set. That's 17 and a half. I always don't measure that, but I think I need to on this one. All right. So that's it. That's the measurements. Um, we'll uh, go inside and I'll show you some of the interior features uh, of this uh, RAV4. See you in a minute. All right, well, I'm back. We're inside of the RAV4, and I just want to go over kind of what this looks like on the inside here. Um, we'll start here. It's got a rear view camera. This is the Adventure model. It came standard. Um, it's got dual climate control here. It's got kind of a keyless start stop. If you have a fob, you can just push that button if the fob's within six feet of that. And then kind of. Ooh, I got a lot of light but down here kind of below you have eco mode and sport sport changes the way the transmission works a little bit to give make it feel like it's got a little more power this is a usb um, charging port and you have an auxiliary eighth inch 3.5 millimeter input for your stereo and this is a 12 volt power supply it has a normal um, park reverse neutral drive and then it's got the selectable shift. You do have cup holders here, cup holders there, and then you also have the center console, which has a um, storage in it. And I just want to point something out. Rob's in here with me, and he is six foot three. And look at the issue he has. His seat's all the way back. So I just want to point that out. Like uh, they they smoothed out this dash, but if you're too tall, you're still going to be hitting that um, kind of thing. So keep that in mind. And it has all the typical control controls that you would expect on it in today's car. Um, you know, it does have hands-free and power mirrors. And one interesting thing about the uh, 
the adventure model it's got this that pretty much makes it all-wheel drive you know it's already all the time all-wheel drive but this will lock it up if you're going to do more off-roading than usual I guess as much as you can in the uh, adventure model and we'll shut the door here and this is what impressed me is I'm almost at full spread in this vehicle it's much better than the CRV um, this is this um, door handle that holds these switches it is at a nice angle here and it's a most perfect angle with your leg so your leg rests right up against it flush so you could pretty much ride in this all day long without having any problem and this oh I love this this center console here is so low that at full spread my knee is over the top of it you know I wish these manufacturers would all do that where they would make these consoles low so fat people could get in them easily you know so I have a full spread on the right side of this thing it's almost like having a bench seat so anyway so that's uh, that's it I appreciate uh, you guys listening to my video and I Yeah, one thing I one thing I forgot to talk about is this adventure model comes with these black wheels and the tires, if you can see that, are 235-55R18s. Alright. We're gonna do the Fat Boy scoring system of the 2018 Toyota RAV4 Adventure Edition. Spread. You know, I was pleasantly surprised by the spread. You hit a little bit on your left leg, but your right leg is free and clear of the center console because the center console is low enough. So, you know, going into this, I thought my spread, you know, was probably going to be a five or a six, but, you know, I'm giving it a seven and a half. For a small SUV, I'm pretty impressed. Headroom, you know, it's decent, I'm giving it a seven. Legroom, um, giving it an eight. Um, they really got a cavity there so if you got long legs you're good to go seat comfort now this uh, vehicle had cloth seats in it they were okay I mean they weren't the most comfortable seats in the world but you know I could do a long road trip in there so I'm gonna give this a seven ease of entry you know the uh, the seat to the ground was 27 and my inseam is 27 so for me it was good so I'm gonna give it a 9 um, arm position comfort left side is good um, right side doesn't have a lot you know so uh, to lay your arm on on a long road trip you know so for this left side being good right side not I'm only gonna give it a 6 um, rear seat comfort space with the seat all the way back you're very limited for the rear passengers um, so I'm only gonna give this a five seat belt length and pull you know it's decent you know I'm gonna give it a seven it's not too tight gas pedal location it's actually good it don't torque don't torque your uh, ankle so your foot can rest comfortably on the gas pedal for a long road trip I'm gonna give it an eight road noises you know it's fairly quiet um, but you can tell they didn't use a whole lot of sound deadening in this vehicle. You know, it's a low cost vehicle. So, um, I'm going to give the road noises portion of this a six and a half, but it does have triple seals. It's a Toyota. It's nice and tight, but it's not designed to be super quiet either. Um, vehicle reliability. This is a brand new vehicle. I have no choice but to give it a 10 plus it's a, it's a Toyota. Um, Miles per gallon, you know, it gets really good miles per gallon. I'm going to give this a rating of 8 for what it is, which is a small SUV. Grandma and mom approval. Um, they really have a hard time getting in it, even though the seat height to the ground is 27, they have to step up, and there's really no bars to assist on the A-pillars. So, gram, grandma and mom approval, no.
a negative on that. Road trip max. I could easily see myself driving 68 hours in this vehicle. What would get me over anything else is the lack of insulation and the road noise. And then the second thing that would probably get me is um, the seat comfort. The padding is a little bit light. Okay. I hope you enjoyed my fat boy scoring of the 2018 Toyota RAV4 Adventure. I will catch you all later. Peace out, YouTube.